How many friends have you made today? Chapter 7, When Life Gives You Lemons. Oh, my head. Anon groans silently to himself. His eyes slowly flutter open for the briefest moments, but then the smallest amount of light forced him to snap them closed with a hiss. Oh yeah, definitely hangover. Anon doesn't really remember too much about what happened last night. All he can recall is bumping into someone, then really needing a drink. Something about Celestian Luna, then nothing. He cringes some as his head continues to thump against the skull. Why the hell did he drink so much again? <sighs> Probably doesn't even matter. He can worry when he's done resting for a little while longer. He slowly moves around to get comfortable again. Rolling onto his left side, he jerks back some at the feeling of something pressing up against him. Now Anon is in total confusion over what is happening right now. He doesn't even need to open his eyes to know who's in his bed. He knows that only one pony smells like Nightshade. He forces his eyes open only to see the curled up face of Luna. So that confirms one thing. Anon looks past her to make sure that he's still in his room, and from the looks of it, he definitely is. But why is she here? He notices her turn over in her sleep. She scoots closer to him. And that's when something becomes apparent. Anon can feel her coat on his skin, like his entire skin. He gingerly lifts the blanket some and finds that his thoughts are right. He's naked. In bed. With Luna. Alright. Alright, no time to panic. Maybe this is just a big misunderstanding. Anon. A murmur calls from behind him. Anon doesn't get to see who is talking as a set of hooves wrap around his waist and pull him back. He feels his back make contact with something especially soft. He doesn't know how to process what the hell is happening right now as a sigh of content reaches his ears. Slowly, he looks over his shoulder to see the last pony that he wants to see right now. There lay Celestia, her muzzle resting on his shoulder with a small smile as she continues to rest. Anon can feel his heart racing as multiple thoughts fill his mind. What? the hell did he do last night? Why are both the princesses in bed with him, and why the hell is he naked? He knows the answer. He doesn't want to believe it, but he knows the answer. He got drunk, and somehow got these two in bed. How he even managed to do that is leaving him in a state of shock. The thoughts of what they probably did last night makes him shiver a bit inside. Now, he likes the princesses, don't get him wrong, it's just that he wasn't at that stage in his life where he wanted to get physical with a pony. Well, with any species really, he even had a hard time with humans. He just doesn't like being too physical with anything. Yet, here he is, in bed with two of the most powerful ponies on this planet. From the smiles on their faces, he did a pretty good job, but what was he gonna do now? Do they remember what happened last night? Were they drunk as well? And if they weren't, does that mean that they're interested in him? So many questions and no answers to help. All he has is a racing heart and a pounding head. He needs to get out of this bed quickly and try to forget that this ever happened. But a new problem. How is he going to get out of bed? Celestia practically has him in a kung fu grip. There's no way that he can escape. Not to mention that her fur against his bare naked flesh is making him feel very weird right now. The situation only gets worse as Luna scoots closer to him. Yeah. He's screwed now. He's sandwiched between these two with no means to escape. He lets out a silent sigh as he accepts his fate. All he can really do now is try to get some rest. Maybe he can explain that whatever happened was a mistake, and if they don't understand, then, well, maybe he'll go to the Griffin Kingdom for the rest of his life. Yeah. That sounds like a plan. Celestia feels something pressed firmly against her barrel. Her emotions are completely relaxed right now, and she swears she's never had a morning like this one. She doesn't even open her eyes as she ignites her horn, moving the sun into place as she always does. She just snuggles closer to whatever she's holding. But where is she? Slowly her mind starts to warm up to her previous memories. It comes flooding back. What happened yesterday, the dreams, the talk that she had with Anon, everything. Her eyes slowly open as she looks down slightly to see that he's firmly pressed against her body. A small smile grows on her lips as she holds him. He's here and she'll protect him. He's suffered enough, and it's high time that Celestia helped him. He's been so nice to both her and her sister. It's only right to return the favor. She pulls him a little closer to her, and she rests her muzzle on his neck. She looks past him and spots Luna in bed as well. She has her head buried into his chest with a small smile on her face. Celestia feels her heart melt a little at the sight. Still, she can't help but cringe some as she also recalls the memories. Twilight. How is she going to deal with this? She knows that she can't let this slide by without action, because what Twilight did is just downright criminal. She needs to lay the law down on her and make sure that something of this nature just doesn't happen again. 
She is certain that Twilight will learn a lesson, but what of the others? Can she really say anything to them? While what they did to Anon is horrible, she's... She's not really sure what she can do. Not to mention that she hasn't even gotten the full story from Anon. She's only heard of three of the elements. So what are the other two? What about the other ponies? There's so much that Anon is holding from her. D does he do it to protect her, or is it to protect himself? She doesn't know. And it hurts her that she doesn't know what to do to help him. Luna takes in a strong scent that's pressed against her muzzle. The smell is familiar to her, yet so different. It's strong, musky, with a salty kick to it as well. She knows the smell very well. It's the smell of her human friend, Anonymous. She opens her eyes and finds a wall of skin before her. Her smile growing more, she pulls away and looks up. There. Still sleeping is him. She feels her smile slip some as she notices his face turns to a grimace. He's having another nightmare, it seems. She gently lowers her head and touches her horn to his head. Forgive me. She whispers as she casts her spell. His grimace disappears as he goes back to his neutral look. She knows that there is a chance that Anon will remember that she helped him with his dream again, but she didn't care. After getting the truth from Anon the other night, she can't help but feel her anger rise tenfold. To think that the elements would be so cruel to her friend. She feels as if a beheading is in order for such a travesty. She quickly reels back from that. Her sister wouldn't allow that. Since they're the elements, they'll get a degree of leeway. She presses her face harder into Anon's chest. She doesn't want her friend to suffer. She wants him to be happy, something that she wishes for as well. She feels her tears build as she nuzzles him gently. But something settles on the top of her mane. What did I tell you about helping me? Came a neutral tone. Luna looks up to see Anon is looking at a wall behind her, his hand gently stroking her mane. That it's your problem to deal with. She answers with sorrow. Don't cry. He says as he continues to pet her. You don't need to cry over some silly dream. Does he not remember what he told him last night? Because it surely does seem that way. So he was fully naked. I mean, then again, when you think about a story that's based off of comedy and whatnot, if you're gonna put in your chips, you might as well go all in. Anywho, let's get on to our super positive donators. Top donators, TacoCat598, Peter Coltard, J10 Man, Darkseid, Ponyman, and Gauntlet. Zar630, Raiden, Black Moonheart, Drake Love Dragon, Dospo, Delta Omega, Runescythe9852, Hunter Norman, Dash of Evergreen, Rhiny Dragonwolf, Secret Moon, Tal Rasha, The Toilet Snake, Sword Brethren Mordred, Ron and Wandering, Random Person Man Guy, Easy, Jack Hedge, Sky Uchiha, Leslie Prickett, Jordan Peterson, Crimson Kits in A9, Lightskin, Monster Kitty, Starlight Glimmer, Lightning Blitz, Squiddy Boy, David E. Sanchez, Soul Dragon, Gaggy, Trey, Shadow Drake, Joe Piercy, Alex F, Rainbow Dash, Teal K. Anderson, TV Killer, John Becker, Leon Reynolds, Raven Speedster, Zach Rakow, Mystery CU, Edgar Garcia, One Kingdom One, Nissa Ruson, Vizuri, Dyslexic Character Sheets, Just a Random Boy, Hotrick Plincart, A Crazy Person, Ponyman365, Neapolitan, Six of Nine, Shyfire, and Antstamp PUBG. Thank you all very much for watching this video, and live life to the fullest.